Ever feel like financial products speak a different language? There you are, scrolling through social media and BAM. An ad pops up for a company called Mogo that promises to help you with your finances. You think, intriguing, but then the jargon starts flying. Credit lines, level up offers, Mogo card, it's enough to make your head spin. Well, fret no more, financially curious friend. Because in today's video, we're going to crack the code on Mogo, explain exactly how it works, and see if it fits into your financial game plan. First things first, Mogo isn't a one-trick pony. They actually offer a few different financial tools. Mogo Loans, this is their bread and butter. Mogo loans are personal loans, meaning you can borrow a lump sum of cash for pretty much anything, a car repair, a dream vacation, even consolidating some pesky debts. They work like any other loan. You borrow the money, pay it back with interest over a set period. Mogo card, think of this as a prepaid debit card with a twist. You load it up with your own money beforehand, so you can't accidentally overspend. Plus, MogoCard claims to be eco-friendly, planting a tree for every time you swipe it, not a bad deal for the environmentally conscious spender. MogoCredit, this is where things get interesting. MogoCredit is a revolving line of credit, similar to a credit card. But instead of getting a physical card, you use your Mogo account to access the funds. The idea is to use it for smaller purchases and then pay it back each month to build your credit score. Now, let's delve a bit deeper into the two most popular options, Mogo Loans and Mogo Credit. Mogo Loans, getting a Mogo Loan is a pretty straightforward process. You apply online, Mogo checks your credit score and financial situation, and if approved, you get the cash deposited into your account. Interest rates are variable, so they'll depend on your creditworthiness. Mogo does things a little differently when it comes to repayment terms. You get to choose a repayment schedule that works for you, anywhere from 6 to 60 months. There's also a unique feature called the 100-day guarantee. Basically, if you're not happy with the loan for whatever reason within the first 100 days, you can pay it back in full and get your money back. Not a bad safety net for first-time borrowers. Mogo Credit, this is where things get a little more strategic. Unlike a regular credit card, you don't get handed a specific credit limit up front. Instead, Mogo starts you with a smaller limit and then offers level up opportunities. Basically, as you make your payments on time and manage your credit responsibly, Mogo might increase your credit limit, rewarding good financial behavior. It's a great way to build credit if you're starting from scratch or looking to improve your score. But is Mogo right for you? Well, that depends. If you need a quick influx of cash for an unexpected expense and you're confident you can repay it with interest, a Mogo loan might be a good option. Just remember, borrowing money should always be a last resort, so make sure you've exhausted other avenues first. On the Mogo credit side of things, it's a good fit if you're looking to build credit or want a more controlled way to spend compared to a traditional credit card. The fact that you load money up front prevents overspending, and the potential for limit increases incentivizes responsible credit management. Of course, Mogo isn't perfect. For example, their loan interest rates can be higher than those offered by traditional banks, especially if you don't have good credit. There are also some fees associated with the Mogo card, so be sure to factor those into your decision. Ultimately, the best way to decide if Mogo is a good fit for you is to do your research. Check out their website, compare their rates to other lenders, and make sure you understand all the fees involved. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.